pretty stemmy grass, isn't it? It's all sped <laughs> <laughs> This video has been shot down on the bottom of New Zealand, where my 20 year old brother Francie has been driving tractors since October. I know next to nothing about tractors and can barely drive one, but I thought it'd be good to go out with the boys for the day, just to see how the other side lives. And you never know, I might learn a thing or two. Are you enjoying the season? I am enjoying the season. Oh, what's that passion for tractors? Well, not like you sheep farmers, you know, all sheep, 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 all sheep. My this fella's brought up on a sheep farm in a sheep family, and you know most of us are into sheep, but he never had any interest in sheep, he was always into tractors from a young age. <laughs> not sure where he got that from. It wasn't a time? genetic thing. What's the difference between working in Ireland contracting versus New Zealand? It's bigger machinery, more opportunities to use machinery that wouldn't get to use in Ireland. Stuff like that, like. Like, I, I haven't been already... Bigger ties. Uh, the Ivy is in the rake here, and I would... I did half a year's raking before I left Ireland. Yeah. And I've done now pretty much the season raking. Yeah. And um, my raking skills... They've gone from what they were, like, I could use a rake if I needed to... to I could rake any day of the week. Nice. Even Sundays. Yeah, even Sundays. Much to Granny's dismay. Yeah, Granny Peggy wouldn't like that now. <laughs> the old Sundays now. What's the pay like? Ah, it's good. It's uh, it's the same as Ireland, pretty much. Mm. But you get paid a wee bit more. Yeah, I paid a little bit more in Ireland. But by the time you fly over here, yeah, that's, that's the thing. Like, yeah. Francie is working for Barrett Ag. The Barretts are actually family friends of ours, and Cahu came over and shore sheep for us a couple of times. That's where him and Francie met. They were sharing contractors for years, but eventually started getting more into the tractors and a few years ago, they sold their sharing run and went completely towards contracting. They've grown into a considerable business since then, with eight tractors and a couple of diggers and trucks. They employ a team of eight in the busy summer season and they have more plans to expand in the coming years. Kahu is a good mate of mine and we've known each other for over 10 years. And the story of how we built this business is an interesting one. I'm here with Kahu, the manager, and Manukai, the managing director, the real boss of the operation. How are you getting on? <laughs> are you happy enough with how it went, Kahu? Yeah, it all went pretty well. No no major breakdown, so it's always a good. <laughs> that's the key thing. That's like the biggest cost with like contracting. Oh, yeah. isn't it? Yep. What's tough about contracting? Uh, Stuff breaking. Yeah, yeah, you break down. If you're trying to grow, it's always hard to try and sort of buy the right machine um, when you sort of need that machine but you don't have the work for it that's another big challenge yeah when about did you get started at Cahu and then how sort of did it come about started it when I was 19 but it was just a wee thing on the side mm. I think the first year I'd done like eight grand's worth of work so yeah um, that's New Zealand dollars that's only about 50 euros <laughs> <laughs> yeah it just built up from there um, and then I think when I was about 21 or something, I yeah. fully decided that I was going to knock sharing on the head and yeah, um, yeah get into the contract thing. Yeah, I've always bit, had a big interest in machinery, so... It doesn't happen overnight either, so like first year, 8,000 in revenue, probably had one tractor, had you? Yeah, yeah. Yep, did yep. you trade up and get a better tractor or did you get a second one? Or? I've done a couple of years of one. And then, yeah, as I built up a bit more work, we, uh, yeah, traded that one in and bought a couple new ones and bought a baler and that. And, awesome. And then just, yeah, keep growing, so yeah. keep buying gear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Any bit of money you make goes straight back into the tractors. Yeah, well, that's, yeah. What kind of money does the gear cost at the moment? You know? That's oh, that you run at the moment. Some of my gear will be, like, I've got a drill there. I paid just about 200 grand for that. Yeah. And then the tractor on the front of it, if you were to buy it new, you'd be looking, you'd probably be scratching 400k. Yeah. So there's a lot of money tied up. But yeah. a lot of my gear I've just bought at second hand because I'm trying to, trying to build, so I need more machinery rather than just replacing. Yeah. Replacement gear. Keep the yeah. try and keep the cost down a bit and yeah. the debt down too, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, it just gets a bit out of hand and yeah, yeah the old payments every month. Yeah. Sort of struggle away, so. Mm. You have to keep that side of it right, and it's not easy. 
No, no, yeah. it isn't. Like I was saying, when you when you're trying to build, um, yeah, you've got to be very careful. You're not over capitalising for what you what the amount of work that you're doing. Yeah, yeah. People get a bit carried away, and sometimes I probably do myself. But I, the old man, sort of is my handbrake. So yeah, it's probably good. <laughs> Everyone needs a handbrake, don't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But there's you, you've done well with some things like you know you've done very well with that harvester, didn't you? Or oh, they call it the chopper over here, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so we yeah only paid bloody thirty odd grand for that. And, yeah. Uh, that's New Zealand dollars too. Yeah. So. And that's a fi- that's a fine machine. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah for for well, especially for that money, I got it valued yeah. and she's worth ninety grand. So yeah, I was pretty happy with that. Brilliant. <laughs> they wanted it off their books, so. They just yeah put it up for cheap not and, much yeah yeah and I actually talked to the guy that used to own it and he got bloody 125 grand for it when yeah. he traded it in, so. <laughs> it didn't but, do very well over oh, that oh shit no they lost yeah. a lot of money yeah yeah so it's good to get some wins like that like yeah and it got me into silage so oh originally uh, yes, yes yeah otherwise I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have bothered I actually bought the chopper to sell it but yeah I started playing around on it. And, Oh, yeah, I sort of quite enjoyed it, so we mm. kept it, yeah. When you say silage, that's like a pit, or yeah, yeah. over here it's a stack. Yeah, it's stacks, Compared yeah. to... Uh, pit silage, com- yeah. Whereas you would have been doing bales for all the way along. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. anything Just, from 18 to 20,000 bales. Yeah. Um, this year's been bloody unreal. That sounds like a lot, yeah. So, staff, it's not easy getting staff. Like, can you try and get overseas workers when you can, really, can't you? Yeah, 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 I was sort of getting into that more and more. It's easy to get staff, but... Yeah, you can sort of chuck anyone in there, but you might not have a tractor left by the end of the day. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're dealing with a real expensive kit, too. Oh, yeah, and like, sometimes uh, one mistake could cost thousands of dollars. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So yeah. they've got to be good. They've got to be able to keep up with the pace and do yeah. the job right, but then look after the actual kit, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, make sure they're doing the yeah. maintenance. You know the checks and yeah. regular maintenance that needs done. I'll leave a link below because their cows page is Barrett Ag. Good to get some workers if there's ones that are interested in coming over. And Francie is also working for a cow who has had a good season with him. Yeah. So yeah. you be lo- you're always you're expanding at the moment and you're looking for more workers. Well, you've taught a clueless sheep shag- or sheep shag- I was about to say sheep shagger. <laughs> <laughs> It rolled off the tongue. <laughs> You're in New Zealand now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've taught a clueless sheep here one or two things more about tractors. I still know nothing, but it was very interesting. Anyway. Thanks for helping us do the vlog. Thanks, Barrett Ag, link below. Um, lads, we'll see you for the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers, Tate.